Hi you guys, I'm back with another video and today this video is about China. Um, as you know, I have lived in China for about two years and I love China and I think it's active and my opinions on China are quite rare and interesting because not a lot of young American, African American, young female American people go to China and actually live there like I did. So I'm going to answer some questions. This video is sponsored by China Matters. Um, thank you so much for China Matter to China Matters for sponsoring this video and giving me these questions to answer, um, to have an opportunity to talk about China and my opinions and I, all that stuff is really cool that I get to talk about it on a platform. And so I'm super excited to film this video and keep on watching if you wanna hear my thoughts and opinions on China. Now I will be looking down here because my questions, something on my face. The questions are down here on my laptop, so I will be looking down, in case you're wondering why I'm looking down. So, again, this video is sponsored by China Matters. For more interesting China content, I'll have the link to their YouTube channel down in the description box. So now I'm going to get into the questions. First question is, how much do you know about China? Um, I think I know a lot more than the average person. The average foreigner, I think I know a lot more than most foreigners. Because a lot of people don't know this, but I didn't just stay in Shanghai. A lot of people try and tell me that my opinions on Shanghai aren't on China aren't accurate because I've been to Shanghai and that's not like the rest of China. I have not just been to Shanghai. I have been all over China. I've been to Hunan. I've been to, which is uh, Zhangjiajie. I've been to Shenzhenju. I've been to Jugabaga village. I've been to Xi'an. I've been to Anhui. I've been to Tons of places in China, so um, I think I have a pretty good, uh, I have more than just a one city view of China. So my next question is, what do you find most interesting about China? What do I find most interesting about China? I find most interesting is their culture. I think a lot of people don't really know what Chinese culture is because they just have like a, ch they think China's like the Chinatowns in America or something, or I don't know what they think, but I don't think it's accurate. <laughs> I think that you'd have to go there to find out, out and they just get their opinions based off of what they see in the country they're in. Like, for example, in America, a lot of people think they know what Chinese culture is, but because they think it's like the Chinatowns here or things like that, but I don't think that people actually know. And yeah, the culture. And it's very vast and very interesting. And I think, yeah, that's definitely the most interesting. Thing about China is their culture. And I don't think most people know about it. <laughs> Next question is What is a common misconception that you have heard about China? Everything. And it really, really annoys me, but I try to not get so annoyed because being that most of this channel I have lived in China. A lot of the comments are just ignorant comments about China. 
and it really, really annoys me, but I try not to get so annoyed about it because I think there are a lot of misconceptions about China, especially from my country, which is America. Americans, all of the not so nice and hateful things said about China come from American people. As far as my experience, as far as what I've heard, as far as what I've seen. And um, like, okay, I'll name top three. Everybody, every time you mention China, somebody has to say they eat dogs. You know Chinese people eat dogs? <sighs> that annoys me. People ask me several times, Do, oh, are you eating dog when they see me eating something? Is that dog? You know they eat dogs over there. They don't have dogs as pets, they eat them, blah, 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 blah. Another one is that, what's another common misconception? Another common misconception is that um, they are all sick because of pollution. Everybody always says, to me like, oh, how do you keep yourself healthy over there in China? Or, oh, I know your lungs are terrible because of the pollution. And how do they survive because of the pollution? And I'm never going to China because of the pollution. You know, Chinese people are some of the healthiest people in the world. Their health is way better than American, um, American health as a whole. People die the, the health issues in America, just from, because I can speak about it because this is where I'm from, is so much worse than in China. But for some reason, these people are always bringing up the pollution issues. I've never had any issues from pollution. It is really not that bad. It depends on where you go. And there's places like L.A. You know L.A.? The pollution sucks in L.A. And it's almost just as bad as some areas in China. And do you know how ch big China is? Not the entire country. China has 20% of the world's population in it. China is huge, okay? Not every single part. A lot of people like to group it together, but parts of China have bad pollution, just like parts of the United States have bad pollution. Sorry, I'm not gonna try to not get so irritated in this video. Another common misconception, I think the biggest one about China is that all the people are racist and especially against the black people. And I think that is the biggest misconception. That is not true at all. Like I said, I have been to, I've been to many places in China, not just Shanghai. And these people are so kind, so welcoming. I do not experience racism, and I never have. And I understand Chinese, so I know what they're saying, because a lot of people like to say, you don't know what they're saying behind your back. And I do know what they're saying behind my back, because I can understand them. And they don't initially think that I can. So Chinese people just talk right in front of you as a foreigner, because they think that you don't understand them. And it's never anything racist. And guess what? There's racism in every country. And I don't see China as one of the top racist countries against blacks or any other foreign race. Okay, I see it as a huge problem in America though, <laughs> but I do not see it as a huge problem in China. And I feel like I get treated kinder in China than I do in, in America by pedestrians. So next question. Do you think China helps to create global citizens? Why or why not? I think China does not help to create global citizens um, because they're very um, just kind of self-centered, but not in a bad way. They're very focused on China. You know what I mean? Um, I know most Chinese people stay within China. Um, they're very just 
Zhongguo, which is China in Chinese, that means center country. They're very focused on themselves. They're, I don't think they're really worried about other countries as much as other countries are worried about other countries, if that makes sense. And so I think they do well for their country, raise good, they raise Chinese people to, I don't know, what am I trying to say here? I do not agree with the, they raise good global citizens. Um, not good, they help to create global citizens. I think that they're good at creating their own type of citizens that abide and work for China, you know what I'm saying? And do good for China. And it's not so much, they're not so much about other countries as they are about themselves, but not in a bad way. Okay, so my sister who has lived in China for longer than me is going to answer this next question because she has, she knows more about this stuff than I do. And the question is, name one industry that you think China is leading in and why? Um, I'd say maybe production, like they're the world's largest exporters, so they make like pretty much everything in the world and export it to everybody. Also, development, like they develop a lot in other countries and a lot of people don't think so. Um, or you wouldn't think so, but they're in like all in Africa, they are developing a lot of Africa and they... So yeah, and they're, and they're developing very fast. They're probably the one of the last countries to, that's like a major country to start developing. But now that they're developing, they're developing really fast. So like development and like exporting, you know, producing everything. Made in China, so everything is made in China, so they make everything. So that would be what they like basically lead in. Exactly. But don't ask me. Yeah. Um, what she said. <laughs> yeah, I agree with that. I just cannot explain it as well. Is, what do you think they should teach Chinese students in school but don't? I think that they should be more elaborate on American culture maybe I should say because um, I have lots of Chinese friends and they all tell me that they don't really learn that much they learn a lot about you know stuff going on all over the world world history but they don't learn that much on like uh, black people in America so or even not even black people but even the white Americans black Americans they don't learn exactly you know in depth what the situation is um, for example they don't know a lot of the times they always assume when they see a black person in China that we are African because they don't get taught in school that much about the slave trade. This is just what I've heard from my Chinese friends. They didn't know that there was slaves brought to from Africa to America, but then nobody's really American. We all kind of came there somehow. So, you know, the British came first and then they needed help. They need not help, but they took slaves from Africa to come to America to build America and this is what black Americans are and but everybody was the only real Americans are the Native Americans but everybody else we all came to America somehow so the history of black Americans African Americans we were slaves from Africa the history you know of the British they came here and then took over and kicked all the natives out anyways that whole situation, I don't think that is explained to them as well because they are often very confused when black people say we are American. Like are, they say, are you African? And then we have to say, no, we're American. And they're like, because they assume Americans are just like blonde hair, blue eyes, white men, 
and white people. And they don't really understand that. And uh, I've had to explain it to a lot of Chinese people. A lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. Oh, no, I'm not African. Although, not all the time do they think I'm African. Sometimes they're very confused. Actually, I don't get that that much. They're just very confused about what I am. Extremely, extremely confused. And I'm sure other black people as well, but I don't think they learn enough about... I, don't, I think Americans as a whole, not just... Um, how was your view of China changed over time? My view of China has changed 100% since actually going there because I don't think America paints a very good picture of China. And I'm very, I, I stand by that, behind that 100%. I think it's propaganda, what goes on and what is taught and what's on the news. And a, a government can control a country's opinions on foreign affairs, foreign countries, by just simply putting whatever they want you to think about that place on the news. So I think that America paints a very bad picture of China. Everybody, I feel like, is wrong about China that has not been there. Um, they go off what they see on YouTube, they go off what they see on the news and what they hear. And I think it's fake and I think that it is horrible and people should form their own opinions by going somewhere and not hearing what somebody says about something. You have no idea how many comments I get on a daily basis about China this, China that, China does this. You know, China has racist. You know, China, their food is polluted. You know, China eats dogs. That's all you ever hear. You know, China uh, does X, Y, and Z. You know, China and these people have not even been to China. None of them have been to China. They just go off what they hear and what they think. So that really, 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 really annoys me really annoys me and i think that m although i didn't have a horrible opinion on china i did think that the pollution was horrible because that's all america ever talks about is how bad the pollution is which is not true some areas maybe but not the whole thing and in america they have bad pollution as well as well as other places of the world and i thought that it would be dirty because i have heard that a lot people hear say that all the time and I thought that maybe the people would not be that nice to me because I've heard that here too, but none of that ended up being true. None of it. So my view of China changed 100% because I just simply didn't know what it would be like. We don't really talk about China in America in any accurate sense. We don't, and we don't really learn about it that much in our schools. And just like this question asked me, what do I think they don't teach in Chinese uh, schools? They really don't teach, I think, in America enough about world history. I think we've, in, in America, I think we teach about our own history, but we do not go in the way we should and teach our children in America about world history and about what goes on in other countries besides America. And because people don't know anything about Asia in America. It's so sad. It's so sad people don't know anything about Asia. And I'm like, we should. We should be learning this in school. It's really bad. And I, that's why I'm not raising any kids in America. <laughs> and I'm not living here. I don't like it. Because, I mean, I could go on for forever. But that's just my personal opinion. But... I don't, I don't like the school system here, but how they teach history, I know. Moving on. The next, the next question is, um, if you could change one thing about China, what would you change and why? If I could change one thing about China. Oof. If I could change one thing about China. I could change. Would it be corny to say I don't want to change anything? Mm, okay, I'll just say I um I would change like 
them being taught more about um, certain cultures. They don't know a lot about American culture as a whole, not just blacks, just American culture as a whole. Um, but I'm sure they know a lot more than we do here in America about them. I, I, I wish I could, I'm gonna go pick five random Americans off the street and ask them what they know about China, Chinese history. And I bet you nobody knows anything unless they did their own research and it wasn't taught when they were in school. Um, next question. What's one thing in China you've been meaning to do but just haven't gotten around to it? And definitely the Great Wall. I did not go to the Great Wall. I can't believe I didn't because I have gone to so many places, but it's not a problem. I'll be back in China and very soon and you better believe I'm going to the Great Wall. So... I can't believe I didn't haven't done that. It's just like, yeah, haven't. But I will be back in China soon, and I will definitely do that. Uh, what is one amazing thing you can do in China that you can't do anywhere else? Um, <laughs> the thing about China that I kind of love is the people there are very nonchalant. Like, anything goes. You can basically, most things go. You can do whatever you want. You can bump into somebody, completely knock them over, and you don't have to say sorry, and it's not rude there, which is kind of like, I like that. Like, if you bump into somebody in America, you don't know if you're gonna get shot. You don't know if you're gonna get stabbed. You don't know if they're gonna pull out a gun. You might get beat up and left for dead. But um, I remember one time I was in the supermarket and I accidentally ran my cart over a lady's heel. The little bit of her heel, little bit of her shoe came off a little bit because, you know, I ran over. She completely snapped on me. Like, but that's very typical. That's how Americans act. Chinese people are so not like that because they don't they're not trying to hurt you. They're not trying to bump into you. It's just everybody is kind of minding their own business. So, like, if you get bumped into, if you get pushed, if you get shoved, if you get ran over by somebody's cart, nobody says anything. And you don't have to say sorry. Nobody says sorry. It's not, you know what I'm saying? Like, you just keep it moving. You know what I'm saying? Unless somebody is really hurt. Like, say you do something to somebody and they end up really hurt. Then that, yeah, then yeah. But I mean, like, everyday stuff that Americans get mad about, which is unnecessary. <sighs> Because Americans are very violent. Chinese people are not violent at all. At all. So you don't have to worry about maybe you're going to die if you, I don't know, do a fender bender to somebody or you give somebody a flat tire. You're not going to die. We're here in America. You might. Or you might end up really, really harmed if you do something on accident. So that's definitely something that I like that you can do in China that you can't really do other places is you can make accidents and you can bump into somebody run over them and you don't have to say sorry just keep it moving and it's not a big deal <sighs> okay how powerful do you think china will be in 10 years i think china will be very powerful i think there's power in numbers and there's like 1.7 billion people or something like that in china and there's only 7 billion people on the earth they have are you kidding me? Their country is so big, and I think the country is very smart politically and the government, and I do think they will be very powerful in the next 10 years. I believe that wholeheartedly. I think they will be very powerful. Mark my words. How do you really feel about China? Love, hate, hopeful, skeptical, etc. As maybe if you are already a subscriber, or are you happen to know anything about me or you have me on snapchat or you have me on instagram or you have me anywhere you know that i love china if you are a family member you know that i love china because my family i'm home right now in america and my family members are getting so pissed at me <laughs> because i just talk about china all the time like 
in China we don't do this, in China we don't do this, Chinese people do this, Chinese people do this, and my family is just like, shut up, okay? <laughs> like, I'm like, Chinese food is better than American food, it is. I've been so sick since I've been here in America, the food sucks here. I'm like, Chinese do this better, Chinese do this, in China they don't do this, in China they do this. I love China, I've kind of adapted to Chinese culture. I, a lot of things about me now are sh have been shaped from China. My thoughts, my opinions, my outlook on life, on everyday life and everything has changed because of China. I think that I will take these things with me for the rest of my life, even if I'm not in China. And I love China. And, <laughs> no, sorry, that was weird, but I do. And I think I will visit China for the rest of my life. I have a lot of friends there, lifelong friends that I will continue to visit. Um, and I love it. If you know me, you already know that, especially if you're somebody who's close to me because all I ever do is talk about China. I can't help it, okay? I cannot help it. I love China. So, Thank you again so much to China Matters. I'm gonna link their YouTube vi uh, channel down below for sponsoring this video and fielding me these questions. I think these are awesome questions and I love having the ability to put my thoughts and opinions out there um, on a platform. And I think it's really cool that they wanted to ask me uh, my opinions on this stuff. It's really, really, really cool to me. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.